Hi everyone, uh, just another uh, unboxing I'm going to do today, uh, it's my first one, quite a wee while kind of thing, I've been a lot of house refurbishment going on at the moment kind of thing, so uh, I've, not, I've not actually been building anything as such at the moment kind of thing, uh, so I'm nearing at the end of that now, so I'm just going to actually do a wee unboxing of a, a kit for a HUD for a wee while, but I did, um, uh, I was on the lookout for this because I remember I th it's a mammalay kit, well it's Dusek mammalay as it's known now kind of thing, uh, the real least this kit, um, it was obviously originally an mammalay kit kind of thing but I think something happened with the company you know, a good few years ago kind of thing, I think, I think they actually folded kind of thing, so Dusek up took over took over the company kind of thing and took over the plans and all the rights and everything else kind of thing and they've re-released this kit along with another one which I have done, I've got but I'll be doing that in the, the future kind of thing. This one, this kit is for the, the Friesland uh, which was a, a Dutch 80 gun, a Dutch 80 gun ship. This is a heavy heavy kit, this is a big kit, well say it's a big kit, it's about 70, 77, 70, 77, 80 centimetres long, but it's a heavy, heavy kit. There's a lot of wood in this. A lot of wood. As you can see, it comes in two separate boxes in the one package, which is quite good. The packaging is really, really good. Um, regards to instead of stockpiling and everything, toppy parts, and they might get broken and everything else kind of thing. So they've kept all, uh, been able to keep the wood and the other parts and all that separate so they save on breakages kind of thing but this is a heavy heavy kit going to be like normal kits eh, like say your oak endeavors and eh, terrors dianas all that sort of thing kind of thing this is a lot lot heavier there's a lot lot more wood than this eh, so i'll just adjust my camera just now and we'll get into the unboxing for the do say marmalade Friesland 1663 80 gun ship. Okay, thanks. Hi everyone back, so we'll get on with the unboxing now. As you see, it comes in two separate boxes and a slip case, which I'll take out at this moment. That's the slip case. <laughs> and you see, we've got two separate boxes there. In box one and box two. Okay, so we'll do the box one first. I've been through this kit already, obviously, and obviously I'll be doing a, a few, a uh, few in private improvisations, you no, know, uh, maybe along the way, kind of thing. You know, I haven't thought too much yet because it's not, it's kind of near the top of my build list, but not at the top of my build list as yet. Uh, so we're going to the first box. You see. Absolute stack load of plans in here. I mean, these plans are really, really big. I think we've got uh, we've got as you see, these plans will even fit in as I say in the photo. So and and the in this video, this gives you an idea of how big this is. Absolute idea how big that is. There is, um, I'm trying to think many of the plans. I think there's about 12 plans in this all together. Um, we get instructions there with plans incorporated into that. Plans in there as well. There's plan six, uh, there's one obviously. Two, B, A, B, C, and B. So you've got four plans there, and then you've got six there. It's kind of like probably about ten, then ten plans all together. Ten plans there all together for this kit. And go into the box, we've got a, a small host of a uh, uh, photo etch parts. Some of these I'll be using, some of these I won't be using, some of them are for late, say. Uh, the strops and that you get for the dead eyes, if you can see that, that's what some of them are like. Same with that. Some of them are like, 
Some of them not too sure what they're for because some of them are really, really pretty small. Again. Some of them are pretty small. So I'm not 100% sure at this moment in time what these are for. Um, let's see a number of other smaller ones. These ones I take it are uh, windows and windows of some description. Those those ones there are nettings or some description. I don't like. I don't think it's netting actually. Don't do that. Full H. There are windows there as well. And. I mean, that's the smallest one out of the lot, can I think that's really, really small compared to my, if you can see, the, and there's a lot of parts on that, as compared to my fingers. Right, go into the box. Uh, a lot, a lot of wood in this box, a lot of wood, which I love, absolutely love. The less photo etch or the less brass parts we've got, the better I like, anyway, the better. Uh, a lot. Of, so we'll go through these now. This is a... Uh, the gun carriages, wheels, basically. All lovely laser, laser engraved on, I think it is. Uh, it's either mahogany or walnut, I'm not too sure. Uh, the thickness of them is about 1 mil. One mil, 1 mil for one set of them and one and a half mil for the the bigger set. You can see it all lovely laser engraved. See them mahogany or walnut, I'm not a hundred percent sure. It might be mahogany. But I don't know, I don't know, I don't know if they do gun carriages in mahogany right enough, but hey. Uh, these are actually part of the some of the gun port carriages for you no know, some of them are, some of the guns are uh, dummy guns but uh, I, as I say I've said before in a previous unboxing kind of thing it's a kind of a pet hate of mine but uh, I had a look over the rough plans and that I don't know whether I'll look at them further on down the line when I actually go to do the build kind of thing you know whether I can I work round about that or you no know, and make them full cannons kind of thing if I can't you know, I can you work that out before I purchase this kit kind of thing? So I think there's only like, there's 80 guns in it kind of thing. I think like, it's only like 20, 26 of them or something like that. It's dummy guns, the rest of them's all, so it's, majority of them are all full cannons, full rig cannons kind of thing. So I was quite happy to do the purchase at the time, you know, after doing a wee bit of research kind of thing. But as I say, these, one, these are actually for the, no, the gun port, eh, uh, making up the gun ports. For the side of the hull and they'll obviously get uh, affixed to the side of the hull. I think these are the these are partly the same, something like that as well. These as well. But it's all lovely laser etch cut. Uh, the lift on these is about 1.8 and 1.4, so a wee bit of fluctuation, 1.8, 1.4, uh, next up, more lovely laser cut parts uh, for the, the platforms, uh, or the, the crow's nest, anyway, uh, not too sure what the square, the laser edge squares, but here are four kind, but obviously I'll, I'll get to it, no, I'll, I'll go to the build kind of thing, but there I say, a lot of lovely, uh, some parts there for the cross trees and that as well uh, but yeah all beautifully laser etched as you can see and those are probably about 1.5 aye 1.5 1.5 mil wheels are uh, next up we have the bit part of the bow and keel and a couple of stocks here the anchors and I think a couple of cross trees as well so if you can see that all beautifully laser etched 
these are all beautifully laser etched and some way uh, as you can see a wee, I don't know if you can make that out really well there you can see that and try and get that wee bit of pattern in there on the laser etch as well that's beautiful beautifully done never seen that as good as that before but it is really really well done the wee pattern there if you can just make that out I'll try to go in through the camera there but it is it's beautifully done it's a for the keel the rudder uh, anchor stocks and a couple of cross trees uh, the, the width on that is 3mm so that's 3mm mahogany uh, next up uh, we have a lot of stuff uh, for the, the grains the grains grains believe it or not are all actually laser cut they're all they're all done for you uh, uh, along the way, what do we have? Some, I think it's some reinforcement bits for the the hull. Uh, again, some cross, small cross, small cross trees that looks it, and part of the bow, and obviously the nameplate, and I think part for decorated on the stern kind. Of but if you can have have a look at that, help it fold it up the right way. All right, and there we go. That's all yeah. Gratings, they're all laser etched. They're all done. The holes and all of them. Maybe, maybe be the odd one that you maybe need to poke through kind of thing, but they're all laser etched. I say a wee bit of reinforcements, cross trees a wee bit touch of, and we come to stuff for the bow and the stern, and then that again that laser etched uh, nameplate as well. This is all beautifully done. And as you can see, I'll get a wee close up that one missing there. If you can see that, that's part of the great, and that's always the edge. That's beautiful. You do it on that scale. That is immense. You know what I mean? There's not not one of the holes filled in. They're all clear. That's absolutely stunning. You know what I mean? If you can, if you can see that. See that? I hold out to light. Not one of them. So that's beautiful. You see, I haven't bought a. Mammally kit in the past, so I don't know what the original what originals were like. You know the quality, uh, the plans. So uh, if empty if empty's out there, I don't know um, maybe they can enlighten us once I've, I've finished doing the unboxing here and what they think it compared to, you know, what went before the Mammally the company. Now it's changed over to to set Mammally. Albeit on the box, on the box and the kit. Uh, it'll still be called Mamley, but do say I've got, as I say, bought over the rights in there, uh, real leasties, which is is really really good because there's nothing worse than him. Really good designs of ships out there, uh, whether it be the Friesland or anything else kind of thing, and there's no many other company. I don't think there's another company that does this ship. To, 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 I know Calderstock do, no certain, no like say the the Seven Provinces and. Uh, Batavia and certain other ones, but no, they don't obviously don't do a Friesland one. Can I, I think I'm not too sure that the Friesland, Friesland was, might not be an actual ship, but it's designed on uh, ship, a ship of that period kind of thing. Which I'll, I'll go into at a later date when I actually go to do the building that kind of thing because I've got I'm doing a bit of reference work and that, and I've got a few books and all that as well kind of thing. So I'll get that down that road when I come to it. Uh, next out of the box, we've got a, a deck. A decking uh, with a couple of reinforcement bits and uh, I think it might be an R reinforcement bit for round about the keel or the hull kind of thing so you see that uh, that's all again beautifully laser cut and that just shows you it shows you how big that is actually how wide that is if you can tear that to my finger you know what I mean it is, it is big this obviously the deck, the deck, the deck uh, is a lot is thinner obviously to make it more uh, applicable. Applicable when you go to build the model and put the you no know, obviously deck it uh, to make it more applicable. That is, I mean that's sitting in it. One point one. So one point one mil. That's the thickness of that. Uh, as I say, beautifully laser cut plywood. Uh, next up we have another one, more dating, 
Again, it's 1.1 mil plywood. Um, there's some designed uh, parts here for the stern as well. And uh, I think it looks like very, very small. I've never seen this before. Usually you get these in cast metal. But it looks like uh, very, very small uh, parallels uh, to help with uh, obviously rigging up the yards and that as well. If I can show you that just now. Right, as you see, you've got the decking above and you've got the start of the stern work as well there. More decking, more stern work. Yeah, and if you can see that we close up there, that they, these parts here, it looks like the parallels to do the rigging up the yards. Again, that is from 1.1 mil plywood. Now, plenty of big stuff. Uh, obviously, the start of the bulkheads and the reinforcements. Uh, not too sure if I stand with this kit, I can't, I don't think that is. But uh, this is starting to. There's a big square bit there, I'm not 100% what that is for, kind of thing. It may well be a stand, but. Uh, this is starting to bulkheads anyway, and you can see the wrong one. <laughs> and you go with my finger, you can actually see the, the size of these ones. And the reinforcement parts as well. I'm not too sure, sure what these are for or what that's for. I don't, I don't, I, they look too, too small to be in to do with a stand, but I might be completely wrong in that. And that is, I think, I think this is like. I mean, that is heavy, that's, that is heavy, that's about 4.1, 4.1 mil uh, plywood that. Uh, another one up again, I see it, more bulkheads and reinforcements. I see it, some of these are really, really big, really the size of my finger. And I've got kind of chubby fingers too, and that is, they're pretty, they're pretty big. I don't know if I can actually measure the, the width of one of these just now, just to get. That one there is, say, uh, the width of that bulkhead there, you can see that, that's about 155 mil just for the bulkhead, you know, so. It is, it is a wide ship as well. It's a really, really good size. Again, that's all done in the 4.1 mil plywood. Uh, same with this, more bulkheads. It's all quality laser cut, as you can see. Very, very big. I think this is the ones that are actually wider. Yeah, these, these bulkheads are coming in. These ones, these must be round about the middle of the ship. These are coming in for the end for... 165 mil to 175 mil. Yeah, 165 mil to 175 mil. Again, done on your uh, roughly 4.1 plywood. Heavy, heavy. Uh, same again, more bulkheads. I'll make you count them, I need to count. There's a lot of bulkheads on this kit as well, which is quite good. Um, as a again done on 4.1 mil plywood, and the last bit of wood out of this box is again the <coughs> excuse me part for the keel, the main body of the ship, and another bulkhead, two mere reinforcement parts, reinforcement parts, and I think this bit's for the bow. It must be for the bow this bit, but uh, obviously to what round about it, this will be the bow going straight out, straight, if you can see that. Right, obviously the keel bit comes in two parts, so the bow bit there at the bottom, this big. And then obviously your reinforcement parts, another bulkhead, and then the second part of your uh, keel. All quality leaves are cut, to the point. So we've got, actually I'm going to check how many bulkheads we've got, we've got one, Two, 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18, 18 bulk heads on this kit kind of thing, you know. Well, say 18, say 16 bulk heads plus two other square shaped bulk heads, but that's obviously uh, to do with the reinforcement of the stern. Um, so that's all for the wood exactly in that in, in this box. Then we'll be going on to the other box. That's Uh, let's see the plans. The plans take a wee bit of working out. Um, no, they, they do them in all uh, languages. Uh, I think it's like the uh, German, Italian, English, all that. Uh, but as you say, they cater for it all kind of thing, but they're all kind of like, uh, like, as you say, folded out pages kind of thing, right? So you've got to that, that there would look a bit confusing kind of thing because obviously you get assembly instructions there, that's obviously English and then you get assembly instructions there and I think that's a, I think that's Italian kind of thing so you've got to work it out though how you open these up and place them in so it's a running order for your own specific language kind of thing makes things a lot easier kind of thing you know but the, as you see the plans the plans of putting stuff together is really well designed at the really well explained you know obviously this isn't a beginner's kit kind of thing you know uh, you're going to need some knowledge of uh, building wooden uh, wooden ships kind of thing you know uh, but as I say it's all about the plans and that it's just about you know, obviously getting your designated language area kind of thing and then folding them out and putting them into a specific order kind of thing for it's easier easy enough for you to uh, build the actual kit when it comes. Uh, the, the kit also you obviously get you know, certain if you like check your check plan list and all that as well. It's, the parts and that are all numbered on kind of thing, so you can check it off against that like that. Uh, same with that one and then you see some of these are some of these are actual part of the instructions as well, as you can see, you need yeah, the instruction back in the back, yeah, also that's not English, so I'm not too worried about that one actually. Um, uh, same with these other ones. Uh, some of the bigger plans, you've got checklist for the numbers and all that down there, so you can off. Um, and then obviously, again, another one that is massive absolutely. You can see the size of that. That is, I mean, that's, that's some, if you can see that, you can, that's some superb detail in there. It's great, they're great plans. I love plans like this. They obviously, they're one to, they one to one plans kind of thing, so you're going to be able to measure up next to them kind of thing and make sure you've got everything in accordance with them kind of thing and everything's measuring up right, especially your mass and yards and that. Uh, but uh, all the rigging plans and that and then also down here obviously you've got all your measurements for your your mass and your nards uh, whether it's going for like say uh, 6 mil down to 3.5 mil so it shows you how to tape them and all but, uh, the correct sizes for tapering and you know. that so as I say it'd be good to be good to um, we are from MD. Maybe maybe the plans are exactly the same, I don't know. As see, I've never built a mammalie kit in the past. And like ma many kits kind of thing, like many kits, uh, a lot of folk a lot of folk um either like them or dislike them. I think that's just part of the course with any company kit. Uh either like them or dislike them. So you're not gonna get brilliant. One kit, one certain company we great reviews about it all the time because that's not going to happen. Can I think? I think it's just about a wee bit of perseverance, and sometimes you get your fingers burnt and all well, the rest of it. And you buy a kit and it's mm, no no great quality or not great plans. Can I think? Whereas somebody's no had a pro, no maybe done a video on YouTube and that, no had any problems with the plans or no no had any problems with the quality of the kit. Can I think? So it, it can. He, 
it's a wee bit of a grey area kind of thing, you know, as well. It's just, you can only do as much research as you can before you actually go and buy a kit kind of thing, you know. Um, as I say, there are more plans there. These are all, these aren't as big these ones, these are double, double sided ones. But there's a few plans there, but it just gives you an idea. That's the rigging ones, rigging plans. Not that, you know, I'll need much differentiating uh, on the, these rigging plans, kind of, because obviously I normally work for a, a book as well, kind of, but I'll, be, I'll study them as well, kind of, and then I'll kind of work it out between the two, kind of, which which I'll do and which I won't do, and which I'm maybe I can improvise on. Uh, you see, that's a big few of that. So there are about 10, you see, 10 plans for this kit. 10 plans all together. Uh, a, B, C and D are I think are the biggest plans and then the, the other ones with instructions incorporated go for 1 to 6 crank so it's roughly about 10 all together kind of thing. Um, so that's for the first box. We'll move on to the second box which uh, is considerably is a bit lighter to say the least. And this incorporates this incorporates, this is box number two, this incorporates um, more wood and the cast metal parts and various other things. So in this box we've got a lot, a lot of walnut in this box as you can see and, uh, and these will be, these, as you can see, a lot, a lot of walnut, there's a lot of walnut dowels in there as well, a lot of as well as a lot smaller parts, smaller pieces of wood. You see that? All very, very clean cut, no, this has to be, I would actually say this is the best quality wood I've actually seen in the kit, to tell you the truth. It is super, super clean finish. It is unreal, it is absolutely astonishing the quality of the wood in this. Absolutely astonishing. And obviously these these big ones here that are Yeah, that gives you an idea. Those two bits there are ten by ten mahogany. Ten by ten mahogany. And I think I'm not hundred percent sure, but I think that'll be something to do with reinforcing the bulkheads as well. That would be something to do with reinforcing bulkheads as well, because you get two lengths of them. And they're about, what, well, probably about half a metre long each. So you've got a metre of that, 10 by 10 mahogany in there. And then obviously you've got a lot of dowel, a few dowels, half dozen dowels there, different sizes, maybe more. And obviously mahogany in there, it's beautifully, beautifully cut, it's absolutely beautiful. If you can see that, it is absolutely gorgeous. Definitely the, the best wood I've seen in a wooden kit. Uh, next up, we have, uh, I think this is mahogany again. I'm not 100% sure, this, uh, I'm not too sure whether this will be second planking or deck planking. I'm not 100% because this is, what size is this? It's one mil by f one mil by five mil, so I'm not hundred percent sure at this point in time. But there's a lot of it, so it's either for decking or hull planking, as you can see. See, it's super clean cut, super clean cut, and it's beautifully finished, absolutely beautifully finished. Excuse me for the the light in the background; it might distort the the actual colour to a certain degree, but that is beautifully done, if you can see that, that's a good view of it, at the end there, you can see that, that's all beautifully finished, this is, the wood in, the wood in this kit is absolutely beautiful, absolutely beautiful, this will be the first planking, and take it on out, this is the first planking, this is 1.5, 
by 5, 1.5 by 5. I'm not too sure on the type of wood this is, right enough. I uh, haven't read much. I know it's not the same wood, it's different wood for what you get in the old cricket. It's going to hang, you know, obviously the old crickets and I think it's sycamore or whatever they use. But that's different altogether. <coughs> yeah, maybe a lime or something, I'm not 100%. But it feels quite, it's not as manageable as the, the sycamore, I don't think. But, well, it's either. It might, it might well be, uh, as I say lime or something like that, but I'll cross that bridge when it comes to it. But again, the quality again is brilliant. There's no uh, shabbiness there, there's no rough edges. That's all beautifully cut and packaged. That is absolutely superb, superb wood that's in this kit. Absolutely superb. Uh, last bit of wood. Uh, this looks like uh, this could be this could also be a uh, deck planking, probably is deck planking, so it does look a bit more, yeah, yeah, this could be deck planking, the other one I'll point out will probably be second planking, I think, this looks more like deck planking, this, uh, a lot of different kinds, I think it looks, uh, maybe, I'm not too sure if that's Tangiki, and there's walnut in there, uh, Walnut in there, there's another couple of different types of sizes we've done that actually, but it all looks to be mostly deck planking, which we all would think would be deck planking going to be the size of it. That's 0 0.5 to 4, 0 0.5 to 4, so I mean, that's going to be deck planking that. As I say, it's Tangyuki, uh, Tangyuki, um, walnut or mahogany, I'm not sure. It might be mahogany actually, that. But there is a walnut strip in there, which is a bit of a weird one, can I think, because it's actually. That's like a. I don't know, 3v3 or a 3v2. Aye, a 2v3 piece of walnut in there. Other than that, the rest of it's all 0 0.5 by 4. They say it all beautifully cut again. You can see it's beautifully cut. And they say the, the wood in this kit is absolutely superb. I do, as I say, I'd need some feedback in uh, regards to whoever's built a, a mammal kit before in the past. Uh, what, quality, what type of quality the wood is. Um, and can he, well, can he measure it up against that? Can I know see if anything's different? But respect, even in regards to plans and that as well. Uh, next up, the flags. Right, these are the flags I got with the kit. These are kind of like a, a silk screen, but they're very, 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 very thin. They are, they're really nice. I don't know how they'll actually look if I to put them on the model. So what I've done is a... Uh, a safety net. I got obviously got them with the kit. So what I've done as a safety net is I bought uh, fabric ones. So I bought fabric ones. They say I bought these after after sale, obviously. Uh, Penance there as well, and a Dutch Jack as well. I bought them after sale, can I? So I'll see. Near on a time when I'm obviously doing my build and all the rest of it kind of thing, you know. Uh, next up, parts, metal parts, cast metal parts. Right, I suppose the only downside I would say is uh, no within the kit, as per usual with most kits, is the rigging, uh, rigging thread. Uh, two rolls, a uh, shiny beige, beigey type. Thread. I'll obviously I'll not be using these kind of thing, you know. Shiny thread doesn't hurt with me kind of thing, you know. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what I'll use them for. If I 